Uh, our system number and also our turnover number. So we're just trying to get each other open and find the ways to uh, really get each other going. Carl, how, how, do you think, how do you think your game is improving as you progress in your years in the NBA? I just feel like, you know, I'm getting smarter, you know, I'm understanding the game a little more and uh, I got some vet tricks, you know, that I always now know how to pull out and when not to, so uh, it's great, you know, I, I've been very blessed to be in this league for my third year, you never know when your time's over, so, you know, just cherish every single moment, live in the moment, and uh, just very happy to be here. Who have you learned the most from? Who's you, who have you learned, you know, in your position, who have you learned the most from? Position wise. Uh, I mean, obviously KG, you know, he was he was a big help for me, especially my whole entire career. Um, KG was just tremendous to uh, my development. You know, I, I don't know how fast I would have uh, been able to get through the learning curve without him. Uh, just his leadership and always just telling me what to do and uh, always giving me those heads up and pointers and you know just I don't know, just being the, the model of a great leader and a great mentor. Uh, KG was all that for me and uh, I'm very blessed to have him. Talking about mentorship and, and being the one of the few Latinos on the East. not been talking for six minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Presenting the Dominican Republic in, in the national team. How do you feel leading that pro, like, you know, giving hope to others to reach that uh, level and where you are? I mean, it's, it's a huge honor, you know, that I get to represent my mother's country and uh, Ever since I was young, you obviously you always want to. I was always mama's boy, so I was always trying to make her happy and proud of me. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, for me to not only uh, play in her honor every single time I go on the court for the Dominican Republic team, uh, but to also just give hope to not only uh, other Dominican, young Dominican kids out there, but a lot of Latinos out there who want to be in the NBA. And, uh, you know, I hope I've been a good role model to them off the court more than on the court. Uh, You know, that means a lot to me. Así que sí si se, si se puede. ¿Tú qué, ¿Qué puedes decirles a ellos en español? Esa gente que sueña ser como tú algún día. Oh, no, I ain't going to speak Spanish. I know politicians. Pero, I know pero, exactly pero sí se puede. Yes, yes, they can. Yeah, that's what our motto was the whole time, too. Si no, si no puede. So we did a great job of, we were always so, that's another team that gave me a lot of experience, you know, especially coming into the league. Sí. Jack Michael Martinez, Francisco Garcia, Edgar, Edgar Sosa, Jay Fried, uh, Juan Coronado. Uh, Manuel Fortuna, um, they gave me so much experience because, you know, uh, I was a young kid, I was a freshman in high school, I really didn't know what I was doing, I was just playing off the of talent and they showed me what it was to be a professional and to really play this game at, at another level. And uh, ever since then, especially Al Horford as well, uh, God, God forgive me for not saying that earlier, you know, um, they taught me so much about the game and how to take care of my body, how, di how important diet is. Uh, how important it is to really understand X's and O's, uh, not just always play off the instinct. And um, I think that also gave me a learning curve when I came in, not only to college but into the NBA because I already understood how it was to play NBA basketball, professional basketball at a high level. Uh, it made my transition feel much smoother, it made me feel like I was still a young kid again uh, going in, but I was much taller uh, and uh, had a lot more years under my